I want to talk a little bit about uh, just how I came across you um, mm -hmm. and uh, get a little bit into your background. I first heard you on the, the Tax Season podcast with, with Tax Stone. Okay. I heard you on Premium P mm -hmm. um, before that. And, uh, you know, the way that you – first I thought, like, um, uh, you know, he has he, – he, he's like a, a professional lawyer. The way he talks about politics is going to get him in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you had, like uh, – but then I was like – but then I thought it was um, courageous because you just, you just did not – hold back any of your um, beliefs about like the, the nature of where, um, you know, just a lot how, how capitalism is working in the black community, um, what the legal system has done like mm -hmm. to the black community. And, uh, and so from there, I was looking to hear more from you. I want, it was a voice that I wanted to um, hear more of. And then uh, as you know, uh, you know, I think tax has been, Oh, yeah, we, we, we actually, we have court this week, um, okay. April 2nd, we have court, but it's going to be, ca it's canceled, essentially. Okay. Uh, we were supposed to actually start picking a jury uh, on his, his state murder trial um, charges next week, the 9th, but that's obviously going to get pushed back. Yeah, 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 well, a lot of people that enjoy this podcast, I'm sure, you know, um, yeah, or right. right. it's a very unfortunate situation. It is. It um, is a very unfortunate one. Of, one of the most, for me personally, and I've told him several times, um, is is one of the most difficult cases for me. Not because of the subject matter or the facts. I've handled hundreds of murder cases in my career, federal and state, uh, as a prosecutor and a defense attorney. More as a defense attorney, what is difficult for me is seeing a young man with so much promise um, and a voice that was, I think gauging and bridging people that normally wouldn't have conversations and to now see um, uh, him having to, to, to fight a, a murder case is, is really devastating, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. And all for all parties involved, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but the, the dividends of that voice, I think like his podcast started, inspired me to start one. It's wow. how I came across you. Mm. Um, and I saw that uh, Nipsey Hussle follows you on Twitter. Wow. <laughs> That, that kind of bugged me out. Uh, yeah. Someone had told me that. I didn't even... Um, you didn't know? Weird. Had, did, had you met him? Today is the anniversary of his passing. No, I, I've only... You know what's funny? I had heard about him for years because of family and friends who were in the music industry. And mm -hmm. I always respected him, uh, how he carried himself from afar. He, seems to be, he seemed to have been a young man who was unafraid and, and um, was bright. And, and um, he was he was just beginning and starting, you know, and um, it, it was really unfortunate and sad uh, what, what happened to him. I actually had got I had new people on the West Coast early who had, you know, gave me some information about what happened. And it was just devastating, you know, what, what happened to him. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that building is it's just there's these people that, um, you know, they, they talk on this certain direction they want to take themselves in the community and uh Everyone doesn't ascribe to it, but the people that do, I, I kind of feel like we're a part of the same tribe. Yeah, so like I agree. When when I heard about, I want I want I want you to explain a little bit about. Um, I do want to get into your backstory a little mm -hmm. bit more. But I want you to talk about uh, Brooklyn Combine. Yeah, uh, the, some of the work you were doing to support oh. youth in Brooklyn. 